Okay, so this video is going to be on my V-Phase voltage optimizer. This is the optimizer without its cover on. There's the instruction book, but I won't be reading that. The um, this building is not actually the house; it's a outbuilding on the house, which is a pond, a fish house, and it is running two of those pumps, which are 200 watts, and another pump, which is about 150 watts and two of those UV lights which is 110 watts and then random things I have turned the heating off here on the consumer unit and an inverter so I know exactly how much power it's using and it should be stable and what I'm going to do now is turn everything off and flick over to my generator circuit also the lights have stayed in here because I'm powering them by an inverter so I can see and then this inverter circuit is just plugged in in my shed generator circuit sorry it's plugged in in my shed through a watt meter so it can tell me how much power consumption we have so if I turn everything back on right so I can skip to the shed and show you the voltage of everything and the wattage that everything's using before I set up this voltage optimizer. So I'll skip to the shed now. Okay, so here we are in the shed. This is just the plug, and I've just plugged it straight into the mains, which is currently, if you can see that, at 245 volts. And if I press function a few times, there we go, we're using 737 watts. 734. Watts, so 734 watts to 737 watts so now I shall set up the voltage optimizer in the pond and see what wattage it generates under the exact same load see what wattage it uses and then see what voltage everything's getting ok so here we are back in the pond basement and I have wired it up as you can see right there Pretty simple wiring job. And I am going to turn my pond off before I turn it on just to make sure the voltages are alright. No. There we go. That's that on. Let's see what that red light means. Red light means mode. I don't know what that means. Probably should have read instructions. There you go. <laughs> Right. Let's test the lights. Lights work without LEDs and dimmable, so there you go. Fish are getting a bit stressed, rip power off. But they're uh, happy enough. Right, let's get pumps back on. Try it. That's everything running again. That'll cheer the fish up. And I shall go and have a look. There we go, there's coming in there. Shall go and have a look at the meter in the shed. Okay, so here we are back in the shed. We're now using, you can see that, 789 watts. So that voltage optimizer is actually making us use more power. I think it was 745 before, so we've gone up 40 odd watts, which is fantastic. So that's a waste of time then, isn't it? But I shall do a few tests, and just to make sure. Let's have a look here, if I can do this with one hand. What's that on? Yeah, work. 244 volts in here and that's all good test where it is in the pond house ok so here we are back in the shed I've got a 58 watt fluorescent lamp and I'm just going to pop it on like so there you go. and we're using 200, well it's at 245 volts 244 volts and we're using some of that 48 watts. So I'm going to go and put that on the 
We'll just stabilise and see if it still uses 48 watts. Okay, so here we are back in the pond where the voltage stabiliser is connected in the basement. And I'm going to plug this light in, like so. And oh, look at that, it's now using 37 watts. So it has dropped a bit, which is nice. And the voltage is 220 volts exactly, which is good. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn every single thing off but this light and see how much power it uses at the other side of the uh, voltage optimizer. Okay, just to show you that every single thing is switched off except for the plugs. And the only thing that is plugged in is that lamp right there. And I'm going to go and see what the power it's using is before the voltage optimizer. Okay, so here we are back in the shed and that one fluorescent bulb which is the only thing that is on is using 70 watts at this side of the voltage optimizer. So that shows you that voltage optimizers are a load of beep. Absolute waste of time. I mean 70 watts is a, it's a 50 watt bulb. It uses, what do you use, it uses 48 watts on standard power. So that's 20 watts extra just to run that thing. It's a waste of time. Absolute waste. I can't believe it. I'm so annoyed. My, uh, I can hear what my uh, lecturer or my electrical engineering course would be saying right now. He'd be saying you never get something for nothing and transformers are incredibly wasteful. And he's right. There's your proof. Now, so I'll go back to the pond house right now and show that the only thing on in there is that one bulb there you go, there's the bulb As you, can hear, you can't hear any pumps running because the pond is all switched off these lights in this basement are still being powered by this so don't worry about that there you go, one voltage optimizer and everything switched off. That switched off there. Thank you for watching my video. And uh, don't buy voltage optimizers. <laughs>